Happy Valentine's Day! I need a little pick-me-up. I just feel so out of it and there's just been so much going on in my life and I feel like I need a little self-care routine. Hair care, blow dry, facial, teeth whitening, and give myself a little makeover to feel better in the honor of Valentine's Day. I don't think I'm going anywhere. I'm just like not in the mood to go out right now. I just literally bought so much crap on Instacart to make a cake, make chocolate covered strawberries. Okay, so this is my hair. It was air dried and then I did a heatless blowout. I really just want to blow dry my hair and so I don't need to touch it for like the next five days. I actually have to film a sponsorship for a hair oil. I'm gonna go give myself a scalp massage, put hair oil in, film all that for the sponsorship, let that sit in for a while, and then I'm gonna wash my hair. I already have Valentine's Day nails and the video on this is already posted. <laughs> have all the oil in my hair and I'm just gonna put my hair in a braid. While I have this in, I am gonna put some teeth whitening strips in. There's a special place in my heart for the person that told me that you can stretch these apart and put them on your teeth and they get all your teeth because they just end like right here for the top ones. So I'm gonna let this sit in my hair as long as I can. gonna do face mask but I use an exfoliant in the shower. It's my favorite exfoliant to use because it's like the least harsh. Did the perfect amount of exfoliant that I needed, so I don't really feel like the need to do face mask now. I'm just going in with my serums. I like completely forgot that it was Valentine's Day until yesterday and my boyfriend like got me stuff and I was like oh, Oh my god, it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. I always like to do something for my boyfriend. Not even like a materialistic type of item, like buying him stuff, but like I'll make him like a really nice meal or a cake or like something like that. I saw this TikTok this morning and it was like one of those people on the street asking people things. And there's this guy and he was asking a bunch of girls, do you think girls have to get like a present or something like that for guys on Valentine's Day? And majority of them were saying no. And a lot of them were just saying like, no, it should just be the guy getting women stuff. And I'm like, I don't agree with that. Putting leave-in and hair oil in my hair. And then I'm going to be blow drying it. Growing up, I actually always hated Valentine's Day and I thought it was like the stupidest holiday. I still kind of do. Only in the sense of like when people have the mindset like you must buy your partner a present. I personally like doing stuff for my boyfriend and letting him know like how much I love him and stuff but like I've never liked the like materialistic like you must buy something and if you don't if you don't get flowers for them and they're not a good person I don't like that but I was actually really excited for this Valentine's Day and then I kind of forgot about it um, did I just break this is a new bottle oh no I didn't break it going in with dream coat this just helps my hair look so shiny and so soft and it has heat protectant in it so it's a win-win i'm gonna rough dry my hair so it's not sopping wet because then it takes forever to dry if you use a round brush or like the barrel things i will never understand the direction of the arrows <laughs> bottom section is done and I need a coffee break. I should have put 
one more drop of pink in there, but you can tell. This is the cutest coffee I've ever had in my life. When I started YouTube, I think I already did my big chop. I had really, really long hair, like all through high school up until senior year, and on prom day, I cut all my hair off in the morning, like before prom. I don't know why. I did this, I can't like remember why I did it. Stupid. One of my biggest regrets ever. And yeah, my hair totally could have grown out by then, but then I went and dyed it a million colors and wanted to get layers and just kept cutting it and cutting it. My goal hair length is to my waist. Now I'm like down to only cutting it two times a year, not getting like fresh cuts, only getting dustings. I finally feel like my hair is growing. Me and my mom have talked about this, but I don't know if this is like a universal thing. Whenever my hair is in that like collarbone length to boob length, it feels like it's just not growing. For a while, I couldn't see my roots when I dyed my hair red and I started like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, is my hair not growing? My roots end like right here. It's like an inch and a half that's grown in. That's just my face layers. These always grow on way slower than the rest of my head. So the rest of my head probably is like two and a half inches. I just actually did a sponsorship video for Shark and I looked at my old post, see how I filmed it and stuff. And my hair was all the way up here. I just like had noticed how much my hair grew and it made me so happy because I feel like it hasn't been growing. So if I say anything in the future about wanting to cut my hair short, you guys better bully me into not doing it, okay? So I just get these like bursts of energy of wanting to cut my own hair and cut it short. I don't know why. I'm gonna speed through this and finish the freaking hair. I am going to be putting this one and the rest of like my curling bangs and stuff in rollers just to give my roots a little bit more volume. I have to try something. I saw this TikTok of someone putting a Velcro roller on here and like putting it on the hair. I'm scared to put that near my face. That was like a massive fail. So then my camera died and when I was changing the battery, my SD card popped out and something happened and the entire clip of me doing the whole entire beginning of my makeup and talking is corrupted and I can't fix it. We are going to fast forward to when I've already done my bronzer and concealer and all that jazz. My camera battery has died. I've gone through four batteries filming this video already. I don't know if I wanna do something with like pink or red. I have red lipstick, but I don't know if that's overkill. I've been living in this apartment since June of last year. I don't know what it is. Recently, I had like an epiphany where I just hate it here. <laughs> I just had like an entire breakdown. This always kind of happens near my birthday, but I just had like an entire breakdown about like getting older. Yes, there's so many perks to like being an adult and getting older, but it's like not fun because there's so many negatives that outweigh the positives like the stress of paying for things paying for rent it's too much i just got so sad about it recently and i was talking to my boyfriend and i just like don't know how to fully explain it but pretty much like, this apartment doesn't feel like home it feels like i'm staying in a hotel 24 7. doesn't feel homey and the cherry on top for me recently was we got new upstairs neighbors i said this in another video and they're really loud i never feel alone and i hate it <laughs> i really I really just like missed my parents. I missed like being in high school and not caring about anything. The most stress I had was like what I was going to get on a test or like if someone liked me or not. And like that is literally nothing compared to the amount of stress that I have just on the daily about being able to pay for things and just like living. And I'm just like so over it. And it's like never ending. I've like just felt so lost. It's everything. It, it's not just that. It's like, I don't know what I want my hair to look like. I don't know what kind of clothes I want to wear. I don't know anything. I'm just having an identity crisis. I don't know what to do. That's been really fun. I took like a few days off from working because honestly, like with being a YouTuber and doing stuff online, it's definitely such a privilege to like be at home all the time and take time off but at the same time it's like you never have time off i was just like mentally drained so like i did not go on social media i didn't edit or anything i went to my parents house and spent the night for a few nights and i had like an art day with my mom i helped my dad he was building his own cornhole boards and it was really fun but yeah i don't know if it's just like the age that i'm at where i'm realizing that like my complete childhood is over and it makes Makes me like really emotional. I've really been trying to look at the positives, but it's just 
hard. We're going for extra blush today. Just a little flush of pink eyeshadow. I always get so conflicted when I talk a lot in my videos because I get a lot of hate comments just saying like you talk too much get to the point this video could have been one minute blah 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 but then on the other hand i get a lot of people that say i love these type of videos they are so comforting some of my favorite youtubers are the type of youtubers where you sit there and you almost feel like you're on facetime with them if you're watching this and you're bothered with how much i talk then i feel like this just isn't the channel for you it's a good eyebrow day I think we are gonna do a red lip in honor of Valentine's Day. I never do red lip. That just makes me feel like Taylor Swift instantly, you know? Oh my god, I'm gonna turn 22. I can use like the 22 song. Okay, I have to go take some clips of my hair really quick. I took the red off. It was too much. Also, I feel like this just goes better together because it's all pink. Literally, one of my biggest insecurities is how pale my lips are. And I feel like that's such a weird insecurity to have. I've thought about getting the, like, tinting, the tattoo tinting thing, but I'm, I can't do it. I'm so scared that it's gonna look so stupid on me. The red kind of stained my lips, and now I love how they look. I put in a few drops of the new Fable and Main Smooth and Shine hair oil. I'm, like shock. My hair instantly felt more moisturized and it did add so much shine. I have this little top on, it has little flowers on it. And then just with a white skirt, hair 10 out of 10. I want to make a mini little Valentine's Day cake and then also chocolate dipped strawberries. Cue baking montage. <laughs> are cooling in the freezer right now and I have my frosting made. I also wanted to do chocolate covered strawberries so I'm gonna do that so that those can harden and stuff while all this stuff is waiting to be done. I have my freshly washed strawberries. I got dark chocolate and white chocolate. We're gonna dip them in dark chocolate and drizzle them with white chocolate. I'm gonna go heat these up in the microwave. It's melted up. These are like gigantic strawberries. I just have this little fork thing and I'm honestly just gonna stab the strawberry with it. This is definitely for like a cheese board. they sit here harden for a second and my cakes just came out of the freezer i'm gonna flip them over in the little pans take them out and then i think we can almost start putting the cake together <laughs> done piping. The extra pink frosting was way too liquidy. I want to do another layer in here but then it was drooping so I took it off so that's gonna be the back and we're going to ignore it. I got this cute little stand for all of my strawberries. Mm -hmm. 
Is it bad? It's just not like good. Tell me if you. I want to hear what you have to say before I say what I say. I think that's good. See, it's not bad, it's just too condensed. Like, the bread is like, it's not, like, I want it to be fluffy. No, I look, you love it. There you go. Mmm. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers.